Hello friends, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn how to check whether user has enabled macro or not and flag a message to the user to enable macro so that VBA based report or application can work properly. Let's flip to Excel window and see how it works. Here you can see that I have created a VBA based application to create dynamic Excel dashboard. This Excel based application works only if user enables macro. Sometimes user ignores the alert related to macro enabling by mistake and tries to run the tool but unfortunately it does not work and even Excel does not pass any customized message to user about enabling the macro. As some users are not aware of this setting and they think that there is some error in tool or the Excel worksheet is corrupted. Being a professional developer, it's our duty to flag and customize alert to enable the macro. Here you can see that this application automatically detects whether user has enabled macro or not and displays the alert macro is not enabled. Once I will enable the macro, then it identifies that macro is enabled and show the relevant message. Let me close this file and open the new tool without having this feature and apply this trick from scratch. As you can see that this tool does not have features to show customized alert. We will use the combination of Excel name and macro to handle this. First of all, let us create a name in Excel. To create a name, just press the shortcut key Ctrl F3. It will show the name manager dialog box. Now click on new, then enter a name as check macro. You can give any self explanatory name here. In the scope drop down, select the worksheet name. Here I am selecting home. Now in refer to text box, just enter zero and then click on OK. Now click on cell B2 in home worksheet and enter alert. Then apply a if formula in cell B C2 for customized alert. Here the formula is if check macro is equal to 1 then macro is enabled. else macro is not enabled, please enable macro to use this tool. This formula will help us in showing the message related to macro enabled or disabled. Now merge the cell C2 to L2 and apply light background color to range B2 and C2. Change the font color of C2 to red. Now apply conditional formatting to cell C2 to show the alert in green if macro is enabled. To apply conditional formatting, press shortcut key Alt, O and D. In conditional formatting dialog box, click on new rule. Then select the last rule that is use a formula to determine which cell to format. And enter the formula as 
equal to check macro then click on format and under format cell dialog box select the font color as green then click on ok as the initial value of check macro name is 0 hence the font color will remain as red once the value of name will be changed it will show the font color in green now flip to visual basic for application window and write down the macro to change the value of name from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 on different types of events in VBA window double click on this workbook to show the workbook code window in code window you can see that there is a subroutine for workbook open events in this procedure I have already written a code to open the login form for dashboard here what we need to do is to add a VBA code to change the value of check macro from 0 to 1 Now add a subroutine on before close event and add the code to change the value of check macro from 1 to 0 and a code to save the workbook. Now our coding part is done. Here workbook open event will assign 1 to check macro. If user will run this macro, then the formula available in cell C2 will show the message ac accordingly. On close event, the value of check macro will get changed from 1 to 0 and workbook will get saved with that value. Next time, if user opens it without enabling macro then the value will remain 0 and the alert which is available in cell C2 will show that in macro is not enabled. Now let us close this workbook and open it again to check whether it is showing alert correctly or not. Here I am not enabling the macro to see the correct alert. Now you can see that the alert is showing that macro is not enabled. Let us see what happens if I will click on enable macro. Here you can see that the customized message is changed. Now it's showing that macro is enabled. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Have a good day.